Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to this video on a better trash chest. Now, what you see in front of me is a trash chest design I came up with a long time ago. And this has served me well. People have liked it. I, as a matter of fact, I did a video on it and it has worked wonderfully. But have you ever built something really cool in Minecraft, especially in Redstone, and then had somebody come along and look at it and go, well, why didn't you do it this way? Well, that's what happened with this. Roger Snow, one of my viewers, uh, pointed out that this could be drastically smaller. As a matter of fact, that it could be that small. That this could be done by that. Now let me show you real quick how this works. The trash chest works by putting in trash, things you don't want, and they go down and they fall into the lava and they get cooked and then they're gone forever. Now this one does the exact same thing. We'll put some cobblestone in there. You can see the redstone firing and it's doing the exact same thing. The only thing is you can't see the lava underneath. But take a look at the difference between those two. It makes me feel kind of silly that I didn't figure this out on my own. But let me show you how to build it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is dig a hole. Now this hole doesn't have to be any particular size. As a matter of fact, I have leftover hole from before. Let's get rid of that. But all you need to do is put this dropper here. Now it needs to be a dropper, not a dispenser. The reason being is we are getting rid of our trash into lava. If you put a dispenser there and then drop some water buckets, they are going to turn your lava into cobblestone. Or would they turn it into obsidian? Hmm, I'm not sure. But anyhow, we don't want either of those to happen. So we're going to put our lava right there. And that is where our garbage will get dropped into. And then we're going to seal it up. And we can get rid of that block. Now all we want to do is take a comparator and come out of here. Now the comparator is going to tell whether or not there's something in that dropper. And we're going to take the corner here. And we are going to put a repeater there. And we're going to take the corner again and go all the way back to there. Now our circuitry is done. That's all there was to it. We're going to put this hopper on top of here. And finally, if you noticed, it's a trap chest. Now the reason it's a trap chest is because this gives you a little bit of time to decide if you really want to throw these items away. Because once they're gone, they're gone. And by putting them in a trap chest, the trap chest signal will close off this hopper until you close the lid. That means your items won't fall through. Let me show you what I mean. Let's just uh, grab a stack of stone here and we'll put them in there. And you'll see they're not going anywhere. I can take them back out if I want. I can put them back in if I want. But as soon as that lid closes, see how the redstone starts firing? And it is disposing of our items. As a matter of fact, we go to this dispenser. You can see them all going bye-bye. So there it is. That was it. That's the solution. So from that over there to this over here. Thank you very much, Roger Snow, for figuring that out for me. And uh, if you want to watch other, of my, uh, other videos of mine, Roger, please don't, because I, I don't want to have to keep improving my stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for doing that. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, or share it. And if you didn't like this video, eh, keep it to yourself. Thanks for watching.